As you may be aware, Google has introduced an updated insights tab, and this is a great source of data that you can use for your search campaigns, especially so that you can review the search terms which are triggering your ads and the best performing audiences. And this is some of the core data that you need to be reviewing, especially at the start of a new search campaign, so that you can make those early refinements so that you can get the best results for your business. So if you wanna learn how to go through and complete the best optimizations for your search campaigns, you need to firstly have the right data and never fear because you're in the right place where I'm gonna take you through how you can review that data. Now in this video, I'm gonna be referencing my new Google Ads optimization checklist. And I do wanna stress that this has been updated. So if you've got my old checklist, make sure you follow that link in the description below so you can get access to my updated checklist, which has all the information that you'll need and it'll make it a little bit easier with all the changes that Google has been rolling out on its Google Ads platform. So right now, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you this data. And this is the updated checklist. Now, it does look very much the same, but what you do have in here is you can see that I've broken this down into review the insights tab and then review the ad assets. And it's just got some different language which is better suited for the current Google Ads. Now, what I wanna be focusing on in here is the reviewing the insights tab and especially focusing on the ones that we've got right here, which is for search. So the first thing you wanna be going into is that you wanna be going into your search campaigns, which you can do up in through here. And this is our search campaign. And then from there, you wanna go into the insights and reports, and you wanna go into the search terms. And the first thing that we wanna be doing is we're doing two actions here. We're going through and we're reviewing the any keywords that we want to stop targeting. So we wanna add them as a negative keyword or any keywords that we wanna add in some extra focus. Now, what I also do like to do is I like to break this down to the last seven days. And it just gives us a lot less data that we have to review. We're Whereas if you've got too much data in here, you'll see that you'll have you know hundreds and hundreds of different rows that you'll have to review. And it's just too much data. So break it down to the last seven days. If you then go through and complete this process every week, you won't have a problem and you won't be missing any search terms. So what you wanna do is first, you just wanna go through and do a quick scroll. Now, if you wanted to, you could also go down and break this down by ad group. Now, the campaign that we're looking at here, this is quite a mature campaign where we already have hundreds and hundreds of different negative keywords. So there's not gonna be too much, but I have found one in here and that's because we don't provide buds it's more of a headphone so you would then go through and add that as a negative keyword now when you're adding that as a negative keyword there's two things you need to look at this will automatically set it as a an exact match keyword so I generally save that and then what I do do from there is that if I wanted to also take out that theme because we don't provide ear buds what I would do is I'll just get rid of that and then click that as save and then that will take out that extra theme of earbuds why this is happening as well is obviously because headphones earmuffs and earbuds Buds, Google would read that as the same meaning. So that's why we've added that extra negative keyword be so that that stops coming up as a close variant. So that's the first thing you wanna do. And then the second thing you wanna do, let's go back to our groups, is you wanna go back through here and I've refined this down by conversions. And we're just looking here is, are there any keywords which are converting, which we haven't added in yet? And there's one in here, noise canceling headphones for sensory overload. That would be a great keyword for us to add as a keyword. Now you've noticed in there that I've added that as a broad match keyword. And I'm happy for that to be a broad match keyword once again, because this has about six different words in it. Remembering that Google doesn't now target the individual words, it targets that meaning of that whole phrase in one go. And that's why that's gonna be a great broad match keyword for us. It's already added as an exact match, but by me adding it as a broad, it allow us to bring in any extra close variants, which as I go through and review this every seven days, I'll be able to firstly check whether it's worthwhile and I can quickly add in any extra negative keywords to stop Google from wasting too much spend on unrelated search terms. So the thing you're wanting to to do there is you're wanting to add in extra negative keywords. And then secondly, you're wanting to add extra keywords which are converting or you feel that they should be converting for your business. After we've reviewed the search terms, the next part is that you wanna go through and you wanna check your audience insights. And I wanna make this clear that we're not talking about the section down here, which is about our audience's keywords and content. We actually wanna find the audience data in the insights section. What you will see is that when when you're in the insight section below the search terms, if you've got enough data, so this is another campaign, we're in a search campaign, 
as you can see through in here. But because this one has a larger budget, when you go into your insights, you can actually see this audience insight data in here for the search campaign. Now, if you don't have that in here yet, what you will see is if you go into the audiences section, you will see this warning in here saying once your campaign has enough performance data, you can view the top audience segments on the insight page. So what that is, is see how you got through here. You've got this other section and this is covering all of the different conversions or spend which is coming from these other audiences. Now, once again, in this first campaign, because it's a lower spending budget of only $5 a day, we don't have enough data. But if we move over to another account with that higher budget, you can see that in the insights tab, so insights, insights, when we go below the search terms, this is where we can actually see the top performing insights data. And this is what I'm talking about in here, in the review, the insights tab, that you wanna check your audience insight. And what's great about this is that this breaks it down by impressions, clicks, and conversions. So you can actually see here, say for example, home decor enthusiasts. In conversions, it's ranked number two, whereas in clicks, it's ranked number three. And then impressions, it's ranked number three. So you can actually see that it's breaking it down whether it's getting impressions, clicks, or conversions. Now, where I'm finding this data really, really helpful is if you wanted to, you could do two things, is you could go through and you could add these audiences into your search campaign. Now, the benefit of adding in the audience segment to the search campaign, if it's a top converting campaign. Now, Google is already targeting this, but by you adding in that audience, what you will see is you'll exceed that extended data. So when you come into your audiences, you'll actually be able to break it down by the average cost, the cost, and you'll see this all, all this extra data, which if you wanted to, you could, if you were still running a maximized clicks campaign, so you weren't using maximized conversions, you could add in some bid adjustments. And if you even saw that you're seeing a high level of spend, or there was just the conversions weren't as good, you could actually even go down and add it as an exclusion. You may not want to do that, but it does give you that option if you want to do that down the track. So that's just some of the data that you can find on the new insights tab. And remember, if you wanted to get access to my updated optimization checklist so that you know all of the different actions that you need to complete every single week, month, or 90 days in Google Ads, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young. I'm from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. Now, I do wanna stress that all of that inside data is not gonna work and it's not gonna be giving you the correct data if you don't have your campaign set up in the right way. And to make sure you've got your campaign set up in the right way, just go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. See you next time.